going to get her hair cut in the campground. Is this your first time, Jason, standing on a picnic table to cut someone's hair? It is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Elk outside the window. There's no such thing as a bad day on the Oregon coast. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who traded in our home and art studio for a home studio on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and inspiration. And we'd love to have you join us on our adventures. I think it's about time for a haircut. It's starting to pile up. I think you can do a man bun now. Almost. Yeah. Actually, you look pretty good with a man bun. The stars aligned and we happen to have two stylists work camping in our campground. It's been like uh, five months since my last haircut. And how long has it been for you? A year. Except I did attempt to cut it myself. Kind of butchered it, but it's a... Uh... And you kept saying sorry when you were cutting my hair. Yeah, oops, sorry. I don't oops, know how sorry. to cut hair. I, I didn't go to school for that. So we met Sarah and Jason, and they used to own a hair salon. Took a leap of faith, and they're out here on the coast living in their teardrop, and we asked them if we could get a haircut, and they said, yep, and not only are we getting our haircut, but- We started a trend. People lining up. They found out we were getting haircuts, so a lot of other full-time RVers are lining up to get their haircut today, too, so. It's the little things that matter. But what about my man bun? I mean, you kind of do look sexy with a man bun. Going to get her hair cut in the campground. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Nice you know what? I just put in till further notice and it came right up and I saw your face. Oh, and really? I was like, okay, that's them. That's her name. Oh, right. good. Oh, amazing. I feel like I'm being pampered. <laughs> More human again. So you I'm not going to shower for like three days now. <laughs> I'm a new woman. Is this your first time, Jason, standing on a picnic table to cut someone's hair? It is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You'll catch, you occasionally catch me on my tippy toes because of my, uh, my height problems, but yeah, first time on a picnic table. <laughs> Looks good. Feel all right? Yeah. I think that might be one of the best haircuts I've had and I was literally sitting in a campground. Pretty good RV life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jason and Sarah. We love our haircuts. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Time to get up. Sun's out. Elk outside the window. Time to get up. There's suns out today. Yeah, sunny. And there's an elk outside. There's an elk out there. I guess I'll get out of bed then. Go. You're a pretty girl. There you are. It's not the crack of dawn. We're up at the crack of my dawn. In the crack of Tammy's dawn. <laughs> that didn't sound very good. We're gonna try to make it back up to... Coos Bay and Shore Acres. And uh, see if we can see the last big waves of the year. Yep. The last king tides of the year. And there's a storm on the way, so we're gonna we're gonna get going early this morning. We got 70 mile an hour winds and up to what did they say, four to six inches of rain yeah. tonight. So we're gonna get up there and get back. Um, we're gonna get there, get the footage, get back, get settled in before the storm. Get the goods. That's the plan, but you know how plans go. I guess I need something more than slippers. <laughs> I'll go get my shoes. This is what happens when you're up at the crack of not dawn. You forget that you just walked out and are ready to go get soaked and wet with your slippers. 
Oh boy. Oh Lord, help us. We're not morning people. I got my uh, hiking boots. That's better than slippers. It's better than slippers. All right. Of course, we're in a hurry to get there and we need to stop and get gas. I mean, I hope fuel. Not. Is it yeah. fuel? Diesel. Diesel. Is it also fuel? Number two diesel. But it's also fuel. Yeah, it's fuel. Just don't say gas. Don't say gas. Okay. Diesel, diesel, diesel. Got to make sure she uses the green nozzle. I'm used to filling it myself, but in Oregon, they don't have self-service. So we have about an hour left of a drive to get up there. That's what happens to the parking lot at Sunset Bay. During a king tide, it is underwater. We're at Cape Arago at the point. We haven't gone down to Shore Acres yet, but so far it's pretty anticlimactic. We already got the big waves once, so if we don't see them again, it's okay. That's where the botanical gardens are. They're really beautiful. When we've been here in the summer, we've gone through them. There's no such thing as a bad day on the Oregon coast. Even when the king tides, you're expecting big swells. And it doesn't happen, it's still okay. It's still gorgeous. It's beautiful and the waves are medium, but nothing compares to that day we came during the high surf. It's all good. It's still impressive and beautiful, but come at a high surf hazardous seas and you'll get the biggies, the ones that come crashing over. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. on the neutral density filter that way I can slow my shutter speeds way down my son Michael taught me that trick still pretty even though the waves aren't huge it's still pretty in these holy rocks. If it were the stormy waves, we wouldn't be able to stand here. So it's kind of cool to see these interesting rock formations. Very excited now. Now we're getting the big waves. I need to go recharge my battery. I'm gonna go get some clam chowder. Clam chowder sounds kind of good, but the waves are starting to get big. Clam chowder or big waves? Clam chowder or big waves? Clam chowder? Yeah, maybe hot Oregon chai. Okay. Anything hot, I need something hot. My bones are cold. So it was fun. That was a good time. We got a different perspective of Shore Acres. I'm glad we saw it the time we did before. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad we saw that big crashing seawater waves. But also, it was kind of nice not to get soaking wet 
with salt water and we got to go down on those awesome rocks which we wouldn't even be able to go down there if no. that was happening and the waves are starting to build and get bigger so it's gonna be an interesting couple days on the coast let's turn on the heated seats do you want your heated steering wheel on no 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 aren't your hands free that was the wrong answer no. you're supposed to say yeah but maybe i should drive because my hands are froze This is like a trip down memory lane because we've had so much fun with the kids here. And that like most trips down memory lane, it's just not like it used to be. Because we've been in this restaurant, the sea basket, a number of times, and you always go in and get bread bread bowl and clam chowder and a beer and, and uh, anyway they're out of clam chowder. Well, that's life. You can never go back. Just have to keep moving forward. So we need to find a new clam chowder place <laughs> or something to eat. Let's go to Bandon. All right. Let's go to Bandon. What'd you get us? We got. We got four fish tacos and a crabby patty. That sounds good. I may or may not have while you were in the restaurant getting our food, <laughs> snuck down to the cranberry shop oh, okay. and got us some chocolate covered cranberry melt aways and jellies. Okay. <sighs> well, let's eat the tacos here while we look at the uh, lighthouse, the abandoned lighthouse. Yeah, we'll save the chocolates for when we're rained in. Dungeness crab from Bandon, Oregon. Tacos, truffles, and Oregon chai. Good way to end the day. The cranberry sweets shop. Yeah. Gave me a bunch of samples. Would you like one for the road? Please. I'm talking about. Would you like a bite? <laughs>